Hey, welcome back. We focus on business now. And the Securities and Exchange Commission says phase two of the integration of West African capital markets is underway. When successfully completed, brokers from participating countries will have direct access to any of the markets in the sub region. The integration of the West African capital markets is being implemented in three phases. Phase one, which is sponsored access, has successfully been achieved which resulted in a transaction between United Capital Securities of Nigeria and Car Brokers Ghana. So to be the first broker to initiate a trade into West Africa under this framework, you know, gave us a lot of pride. But of course, it will make us happier when trading is more active and investors are starting to see the benefits of the framework that we've put into place. The first two equities that were bought were Dangote Cement and GT Bank. So we've done the guidelines, we've harmonized the rules, um, we're now going to do a lot of um, implementation activities, um, education, uh, taking the uh, uh, operators through uh, the requirements uh, to meet in order to become a qualified West African broker. The third and final phase will see the total integration of West African securities markets, which will provide more choices of financial products to investors. For the first time, ECOWAS has gotten involved in it. They sit in our meetings. ECOWAS is interested in um, funding the sessions. ECOWAS wants this to succeed because they have had financial integration and capital markets integration on our agenda for many years but have not gone anywhere. So once we as private operators decide to do it, they found it a convenient vehicle to also jump on it and help us push to integration. The integration would encourage more companies to embrace the capital markets for funds and listing to further deepen the regional market. Now, they can buy you securities from Africa's stock exchange. They can buy you securities from the Nigeria stock exchange. If you want to also sell, now you send your, your securities to the, the market and nobody is buying because, let's say, Ghanaians, nobody wants to buy. Now, there's a Nigerian who can say, I will buy. There's an agricultural person who can say, oh, there's a Togolese, there's everybody in the West Africa.